In this video, I will show you how to create a power clip inside CorelDRAW. A power clip is a container that holds objects, art, or images. A container can be made up of text, groups, or shapes. Now let me show you some power clips in action. Our first exercise is creating a plaid stocking. So here's our red stocking and our plaid pattern. I want to put this plaid pattern inside this stocking shape. And as a power clip is how we're going to do it. So let me go over those methods of how to get it inside there. So the first method we're going to use is we're going to select our pattern and we're going to go up to the object menu. Click object, then click power clip, click place inside frame. And you get a little arrow and click it and it puts the pattern in there. So that's one way to get it inside the pattern, inside the stocking. So let's undo that. And let me show you the next way. So now if we have our pattern still selected and we right click, the, in the right click menu, there's a power clip inside. Click that, then the arrow comes up and we also can put it inside the stocking. That's another way to do it. Let's undo that one. And the third way is if you have your pattern selected and you right drag and you let go over that object, wherever you let go, that's where that pattern's gonna land. So when I let this go and choose power clip inside, it's gonna put it right where we have it shown up on the screen. So that's not quite where we want it. So now I'm gonna show you how to do the editing. Um, whenever you're doing a power clip, you can watch for this toolbar that shows up at the bottom or the top, and that gives you options. So here's one of our options ways is to edit that power clip. So let's click that button and let's drag it over. So now that's the way we want it. And another way to, then we have to get out of this power clip. So we exit the power clip. There's going to be a little button that shows up and we can finish editing the power clip by clicking that button. And there's our stocking again. Let me show you another way to edit. Um, you can, with your power clip selected, you can go to the object, power clip. You can say, edit power clip. And in here, maybe we want our plaid on an angle. We can rotate our objects and manipulate the objects just like they're outside the power clip. We can do it inside. And we can go out of that again. Uh, another way to get into the power clip is if you hold the control key on your keyboard and click on the power clip, it will jump right in. And if you click to get out of it, if you click outside the power clip and hold your control key, it will finish editing the power clip. Another way to edit the power clip is to right click on the object. So let's select our power clip, right, um, right click, choose edit power clip. We can adjust as we need, rotate, make it look however we want. And, and then right click again to finish editing the power clip. Now that I showed you how to put objects in a power clip, you may decide you don't like it and want to take those objects out of the power clip. So let me show you how to do that. Let's click on our power clip. And if we right click, we can choose extract contents. That'll take it right out of the power clip. That's one way. If I undo that, we can go to have our power clip selected, go to object, power clip, extract contents. And we'll undo that one as well. That's another way. And with it selected, look for our toolbar and there's an extract contents button. We can click that and our contents are removed from our power clip. If you see this uh, X across the, the, in the shape that was a power clip, that's just the showing that it can be a power clip. If you wanna remove that X, you can go power clip, frame type, set it to none, and you're back to your normal objects. Another tip for editing power clips is to use the Alt key to edit and move the contents without going inside the actual power clip. Let me show you how to do that by adding some white accents to our plaid. Okay, let's start by adding our white accents for our stocking. Come on over here to the rectangle tool and draw a tall, thin rectangle about the height of the uh, stocking. Come back to the pick tool and come over here and make it white. And now grab our rectangle. And if you drag it over the stocking, you'll see a menu pop up. And if you hold your W key, it will add it to the power clip. There we go. So now here's where our Alt key trick comes in. Let's hold our Alt key and we can click and select just the plaid. And watch your handles change. See how our handles are up here? That's showing now that the plaid is selected. And we can drag and move that around. Now, if we want to change that to back to be straight again so we can line up our accents real easy, let's come up here to the rotation and set this to zero and it'll make it straight. Now let's use our Alt key again and we can grab our little white accent. There we are, watch for your handles change. See, when we see our handles, now we can drag this wherever we want it. We can make it thinner and we can even do a duplicate by if we right drag and we can add duplicates. Say copy here and same thing, copy here. Drag some more, drag to the right here, make another one. Copy here 
And let's finish it off with two more. Copy here. And once again, with the Alt key, we can click on any of those objects and move them all individually. That's, how, that's a neat trick you can use with power clip editing. Now let me show you another application for a power clip. Let's say you're remodeling your kitchen and you want to have a photograph printed on ceramic tiles to build your new backsplash. This is easy to do by sublimating your image onto the tiles. Here let me show you how we would set that up. Let's say the tiles are 6x6. Six six. So let's set our page size to 48 by 18. And now for easy things, let's turn on our go to view menu and turn snap to page on. It's going to help us. And now let's go to the graph paper tool, which if you click on the arrow on the polygon tool, this is what it normally looks like. Let's click on that. And if you come down here and click the graph paper tool, and then let's make sure to set this to eight and this to three, mine are already set. And now we can draw a grid. We start up in this upper corner and we drag. And since we turn that snap on, it'll go right to the edges. So there's our 48 by 18 grid of 25 squares. Now all we need to do is import our photo. Let's go get it. There's our photo. Click import. And now if we drag and scale it to the approximate size of our backsplash and let go. And now we can power clip it inside our tiles and adjust as we need to. So let's make sure our photo is selected and we can right click, choose power clip inside, and I'm going to click right there. And it power clipped inside, but now we're not covering our complete tile. So now this is where we can use some of our tools we learned, used, learned earlier. And we can control click and get inside. So now we can adjust our photo and enlarge it. So let's select our photo and make sure it covers the whole area of our tiles. Scroll up here to make sure I'm covered. No, not quite over here. Just a little more. And there we go. So now if I control, control, control and get back out of it, outside the square, hit F4, there's our tiles. Our image is exactly the way we need it. And if we're ready to output it, all we have to do is actually ungroup. And each of these images are ready to be outputted as a tile. Here are some other examples of how you can use power clips in Corel Draw. You can power clip photos into text, and what one cool thing is that the text is still editable, so I could change it, and our power clip is still intact, and you can stretch and edit as you need. Uh, another thing to do is to use a power clip to make a quick transparent background. So this actually is on top of a square, but it's a power clip. If I control into it, there's our red background that I didn't want, and if I can get back out of it, there's our background. Uh, another neat thing to do is you can power clip flags into shapes. So this is an Italian flag inside a shield. So if I control so you can see what's in there, go inside. It's just three rectangles, power clipped in the rectangle, and finish editing that one. And this one, I just drew shapes and added them to the sunglasses and power clip some photos. And let me show you how that is. If I control, it's a group of two shapes with two photos. One is mirrored and jazzes up our sunglasses. These are just some creative ways you can use power clips in your artwork. Thank you for watching. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to the tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of the tutorial and the exercise file to follow along. You will also find other helpful tutorials for Corel Draw.